Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating simple floral borders entirely in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. We're actually only using three brushes for this entire piece. We are using my free mono white brush, my free dotted brush, and then a lettering brush from my Font Lovers Procreate brush set. I'll leave links to all the brushes right in the video description. So you can just tap in there and have access to all of them. As always, the color palette is entirely free. There's also a link in the video description to that as well. So I'm going to start by creating a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi and then we can get started. Okay I've got my canvas all ready to go and the first thing I'm going to do is set a background color. So I've got my color palette all ready to go right here. I'm going to tap into my layers, tap on background color, and choose this very first color which is this dark green color. And now we're going to put in our settings for our symmetry and our symmetry is what allows us to create borders really, really quickly in Procreate, but they can sometimes look too symmetrical. So I'm going to show you a really handy trick for that as well. Okay, so in order to set our symmetry settings, we're going to hit our wrench, go to canvas, toggle over drawing guide, and then hit edit drawing guide. For this one, we're going to come down here where it says symmetry, tap on symmetry, hit options, and over here you're going to choose quadrant. Make sure rotational symmetry is not turned on, but that assisted drawing is turned on. I'm going to make this a lighter color so you can see it well on screen, so it mine's white, and I'm going to make it a little thicker so you can also see that really well. Okay, I'm going to hit done. So I've got my light yellow selected. It's the one right in the middle right here. And now whatever I draw in one quadrant will appear in the other three quadrants. So that's exactly what we want. I'm going to start by creating the main flourishes of our border. And I've got my free mono weight brush selected and the size I'm going to be using is 5%. So for my top and bottom border elements, I'm going to start in the middle, come around, make a loop, and then a curl. So for my sides, I'm going to do something really similar. I'm going to start and then create a curl right here so they touch. Okay, so now I've got my flourishes where everything kind of branches off of. I'm going to create a brand new layer. Let's label this one flourishes. And now we're going to create our really simple flower buds. So for this, I'm going to create a brand new layer, drag that layer underneath your flourishes layer, label this one bud stems. And we're going to keep the exact same color for this, but reduce your brush size down to like 3%. And I'm just going to choose random areas. We wanna make sure that we keep that symmetry applied. So whatever happens in one quadrant, it happens in the other quadrant. So in order to do that, just come over to your layer on the bud stems layer, tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist. And that will keep whatever symmetry settings you were previously using. It applies it immediately to that layer. So you don't have to go back into your symmetry settings and apply it for every single layer. That's all you have to do. Just tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist. Now, whatever I draw over here, will appear in the other three quadrants. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of come around and give myself some lines for some simple flower buds. Okay, we're going to create a brand new layer right above it and we're just going to call this one buds. We're going to keep our symmetry on this layer as well. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist. For this one, we're going to grab our dark pink color. So it's the one at the very end on the bottom. We're going to increase our brush size to like 6% and just put a dot on top of all of these stems. Okay, once you have all of these, we're actually going to drag the buds layer underneath the bud stems layer. So tap and then drag, return to the bud stems layer. You're going to reselect this light yellow color. We're going to go back down to 3%. And on each one of these, we're going to create a more seamless transition from the stem to the flower itself. So we're going to do a pointed oval shape on each side of these, just to add that extra detail and make it look more complete. Okay, once you have all of your flower buds complete, we're going to group those two layers together. So slide your buds layer to the right, hit group, and we're just going to call this one flower buds. Create a brand new layer, drag it underneath your flower buds layer, label this one orange leaves. We're going to grab our orange color right here and we're just going to make some large leaves. Let's also apply our symmetry settings to this. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose drawing assist 
and we're just going to start filling in some of these gaps and this one's going to look a little like this. And when you drag your color in, if it doesn't fill your shape entirely, keep your stylus on the screen. And up at the top, you can see we are changing the color drop threshold. So when it's way down here, it doesn't fill it as much. So just make sure you keep your stylus on the screen and then you can adjust that when you color drop. So that's a really handy tip to know. For these color drops, I like keeping mine actually all the way up into the 90s. So let me bring this back up to whatever, anything in the 90s. And that will help it fill the entire shape. If you have some smaller shapes, sometimes you still have to fill in the gaps manually, but that should fill most of them in. Like I've got one little pixel right here, but that's easy to correct. So I'm just gonna come around and add these shapes throughout my flourishes. So when you get very close to these edges, you can see things get crazy symmetrical and they're right next to each other. And if you don't like that, like down here, I definitely want some of these leaves over here, but whenever I draw them in, it's kind of looking like weird eyebrows or mustache to me. And I don't like the way that looks or crazy eyes. So in order to create an element that is on a symmetry layer that you don't want symmetrical, all you have to do is come back to your layer tap in the layer thumbnail and toggle off drawing assist. So all you have to do is tap that. And now whatever you draw will not repeat in your quadrants, but you'll be able to maintain all of your previous symmetry drawn elements. So you can see I still have all my leaves here, but now when I draw some leaves, it can look more organic so it doesn't look so matchy matchy everywhere. So this is a trick that I use pretty often because I can draw a lot of elements really quickly by utilizing the symmetry options, but then just by integrating a few elements that are not symmetrical, you can really make it look like you hand drew everything, even though you didn't have to do all that work. So just remember that because I drew these ones, they did not repeat up here. So I have to come up here and do these ones manually as well. Okay, so I've got all my orange leaves now and I wanna add one extra detail to them. So I'm going to create a brand new layer right above it. I'm going to change to my green color and I'm going to reduce the size down to like 2%. And on each of these, let me also apply the symmetry setting. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose drawing assist. And I'm going to just draw a line through. So it has that little extra bit of detail. Actually, I think I'm gonna go back to a 3% size. Okay, so I'm going to draw this line through everything, all of my leaves except for the ones that are non-symmetrical. Okay, I think that's all of them. So now I can do the exact same thing I did before, come to your layers, tap in the layer thumbnail and just toggle off drawing assist and now I can draw these details on the ones that are not symmetrical. So my orange leaves are all done. I'm going to group these two layers together and just label this one orange leaves. And now we're going to add in some gold leaves. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab my gold color right here. I still have a 3% size brush and I'm going to apply my symmetry settings to this. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose drawing assist. We're going to rename this one gold leaves. Okay, so for these ones, they're going to have a bunch of leaves on them. So I'm going to draw this up and just add on kind of alternating leaves right here. We're continuing that theme of pointed ovals, this leaf shape, and then I'm just going to fill these in and just be aware if you have any pixels that you need to recolor manually. So I'm gonna come through and kind of put these ones everywhere, and then we'll finish everything off by putting some open flowers on here. So I will be right back. Okay, I've got all my gold leaves in here, and now we're going to start putting in some final flowers. So I'm going to create a brand new layer above my gold leaves layer. I'm going to return to my light yellow color. We're going to draw in some additional stems for my larger flowers. So we've got flower buds, now we're going to have flowers that are opening up. So I'm going to choose a few random places to put these flowers. So wherever you see kind of a gap where it looks like it could use something, draw in a couple of stems. So I'm going to make sure I still have my symmetry settings on this one, but this is another one of those layers where we're going to create all of our symmetry elements and then we're going to turn it off for our last few. So tap on the layer thumbnail, choose drawing assist, and this one's just going to be flower stems. So I'm going to 
draw a couple right here. Put one up here. So this is what's really filling out the rest of your border. Okay, I think I've got enough in here now. So I'm going to turn off my symmetry and draw, give myself a few more stems to add in my larger flowers right in the middle. So these are gonna be a focal point on each one of these sides. All right, so now we're going to draw our flowers. So create a brand new layer above flower stems, label this one flowers. If you caught my buttercup flower tutorial, then you already know how to draw these. I'm going to alter it just a little bit, so I'm going to add more petals on these than that tutorial, but it's the exact same idea of the shape. I'll link to that on the video screen and in the description. But basically, let me grab my light pink color and let me turn on my symmetry again, and we'll do those ones first. Let's draw it in here. So what you're going to do is draw one big petal right here, and as it comes around, it's going to get tinier and then larger, and then we'll fill that with color. And you may have to manually fill in any gaps that it leaves. And then on some of these stems, I'm just going to draw a closed up version of that. So you can kind of alter as you go around. And I'll do another one right here, so. It's a large petal and then they get tiny and then fill them in. Okay, I think I've got all of those stems filled in now. And so I'm going to turn off those symmetry settings, tap on the layer thumbnail, turn off drawing assist. Now I'm going to manually draw in the remaining flowers. Okay, we're going to add some additional details to all of our flowers. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, label this one flower details. Let me first turn on our symmetry settings. I'm going to grab my darker pink color and just add this extra detail. So you're basically repeating the same shape, only it's going to be smaller on there and that just adds just a little bit more detail and interest. Okay, I think I got all of those. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in all the symmetrical details for these larger flowers. So I'm going to switch to my gold color and just in the very center, I'm going to start putting a little dot. Okay, I think I got them all. So now I'm going to turn off my symmetry settings and take care of all of these ones that are not symmetrical. Okay, same thing with these flower buds. Grab your darker pink color and repeat the shape. Okay, and then the last little element on these floral borders, if you'd like to apply it, I like grabbing my light pink color and then grabbing my free dotted brush. Once again, there's a link to this in the video description. And my size on this dotted brush is about 3%. And I don't apply the symmetry setting. And this makes it look like everything was hand-drawn because this isn't symmetrical at all, but it does take a little bit of extra time. So just keep that in mind. And all I'm going to do is do these really basic little curls. Wherever there's some white space, Okay, now we're ready to add in our final lettering or whatever message you would like to put in the center, but now our simple floral border is entirely done. So let me turn off the guides just for a minute so we can see what that looks like. So now I'm going to just finish everything off with a little bit of lettering up at the top. So I'm going to rename this one lettering. I'm going to grab my light yellow color and I'm going to go to my Font Lovers Procreate brush set and grab my round marker brush. I'm also going to turn on my just regular 2D grid guides because it helps me to keep all of my lettering very straight. I have a tendency to write uphill, so this really helps keep everything in line for me. So I'm going to turn on drawing guide, hit edit drawing guide, return to 2D grid right here. I'm going to reduce my grid size down to 50 pixels. So I can just type that in. I'm going to change the color to white so you can see it well, but I'm going to reduce the opacity. That way I can still see my lettering on it. Okay, I'm down to like 30% and then hit done. So then you can just letter out whatever you would like.
Okay, and I can turn off that drawing guide and now I am all set. So that's how to create simple floral and foliage borders directly in Procreate utilizing quadrant symmetry, but also being able to turn it off and make it look more organic and hand-drawn and less symmetrical as well. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this tutorial, including all three brushes and the free color palette are right in the video description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.